Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review the Revolution Race GP Pro trousers. So guys, why Revolution Race? Well, because I quite relate with uh, Pernille and Nicholas Ney's team. I hope I'm saying their names correctly, which they are uh, outdoor enthusiasts and they love the outdoors and they felt somehow that the outdoor gear industry was completely dull and boring and they developed their own concepts based on sustainable uh, business and business models that are fair and sustainable and from uh, Pernilla's father's garage to uh, 30 plus uh, worldwide presence in countries they started a wonderful and stylish brand for the outdoors uh, which I recommend you to have a look on the site on their site I'll leave a link below and I, I get I don't get paid for this so it's totally free to visit the, the their website I hope you enjoy I hope you find something for for yourself so enough of this uh, uh, revolution race history you can check it online uh, and let's go to the main thing the GP Pro, Pro trousers olive dark uh, from revolution race so let's get started uh, the GP Pro trousers are EB trousers which means they have several types of materials in the main constitution of the trousers. Um, we have a reinforcement fabric of the Ypres shell, which is a revolution race fabric concept made of 65% polyester and 35% of cotton, which is both wind and water repellent. And the stretch fabric made of 88% polyamid and 12% of elastine. The GP Pro trousers were designed for hiking, work and gardening and they are considered all-round trousers. I find them extremely suitable for hiking and bushcraft. They developed a product that has perfect reliability while in the outdoors. The GP Pro trousers are reinforced in key areas as the seat, knees and lower legs which are of great value for those who love hiking but especially for those into bushcraft that perform a lot of their tasks while kneeling or sitting on the ground. Revolution Race added some really cool stuff into their design. I would like you to look at the knee pockets for inserting knee pads, which are really handy, and the ventilation zippers along the thighs that, when working or during high intensity activity, will give a rating of 4 out of 5 in breathability. The medium-sized ones weigh 544 grams. The construction of these trousers are amazing. I'm using them for two months now and I love them a lot. Let's dig into the good stuff of this product. They are very well built with lots of reinforcement bits and stretch parts as between the legs, the gusset in the crotch and three line seams in the most stressed places. The zipper pulls with the Revolution Race logo and the knee pocket logo and an interior label with care instructions are very good details. The triple reinforcement between the leg ends and the calf eye reinforcements makes them a 4 out of 5 in terms of durability and very good to use out on trails where the vegetation might be a problem.
The GP trousers are available in 18 colors in a retail price starting from 105 euros. It depends on promotions. You can buy them online in the site store. As storage goes, the GP Pro are very well provided. In the sides we have two large hand pockets as they are really large and deep. And in the front, two zippered tight generous pockets in the upper shell fabric. In my case, on the left front pocket, there is a phone pocket to keep the phone in place. In the back there is a small pocket. Not only have they done a great job on the general look and feel, they really give you a truly explorer look, as they really nailed it on the fit. These trousers are stylish and incredibly comfortable. This is due to several things. The pre-bent knees, the elastic leg opening, the waist elastic stretcher and the proportional use of the two types of fabrics. What I don't like about the GP Pro Trousers. This is a personal opinion, so take it uh, as a personal opinion. I don't think none of this is a deal breaker, so be think what you, what you want and do what you want. So the first thing I want you to know is this hyper shell fabric, this black one, is uh, so stiff that when you try your trousers on, they seem very hard and not so comfortable. Uh, this will wear over time. As I told you, I, I'm using this for two months now. Uh, and they become quite nice and quite comfortable uh, because, of the, the, because of you wearing them. Another thing I don't like is uh, you are not very sure when uh, this is open this is open, this is closed uh, and when you kneel down uh, it's hard to see that probably anything will fall but it's hard to see like this uh, you cannot see that it's open so make sure you have your your front pockets closed all the time if you don't want to lose anything another thing I don't uh, quite like it. It's they are not completely waterproof. Of course, this is the weakest point of the GP Pro trousers. It's a two out of five in terms of waterproofness or water resistance. And uh, as we improve, it's three out of five, uh, which is nice. But well, uh, it's so so. So these are the main things I don't really like about the, the GP Pro trousers.
So, conclusions about the GP Pro trousers. They are very comfortable, very affordable, and built with a sustainable mind. So if you are um, a person that is concerned about sustainability, they have all the pieces and bits that normally came with this type of outdoor uh, garment. But the combination of the two tissues, the two fabrics, and some features related to this resistant part that is hypershell and the details due to the the ankle adjustment the grip for your boots and the insertable knee pads uh, the insertable parts for the knee pads and the ability to have large amounts of storage and ventilation uh, they make it quite nice so guys that is pretty much it uh, they are very durable they are very resistant and the weak points are the weather resistance uh, mainly the waterproofness um, but it's not a, be uh, a deal breaker i think it and, and it's not a big deal so go for it well guys this is pretty much it i hope you enjoyed the video and if you do just remember to subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up and we'll see you in my next adventure. Bye.